Here's how easy it is to install the Facebook Marketplace Dropshipping Helper extension and enjoy price monitoring, stock monitoring, quick product importing, and more business automation. First things first, make sure that you are logged in to your Facebook account as well as to your AutoDS account. Then proceed to install the Marketplace Dropshipping Helper extension. Once it's installed, be sure to pin it onto your Chrome browser. So I'm gonna click on this puzzle icon on the top right, extensions, and click on the pin icon next to the Marketplace Dropshipping Helper. Now I see it up here. Left click on it and log in using your AutoDS credentials. Once you fill it in, click on log in. Then you'll get the screen, welcome to Facebook monitoring, and choose your Facebook store from the drop down menu. Now I only have one Facebook store called my Facebook store. That is why you need to be logged into your Facebook account with that Facebook store inside. So I'm going to choose that store and click on Start Sync. Besides that, you also have the logs to see all of the changes that happened on the AutoDS Marketplace extension since you activated it for the first time. Now let's see how fast and simple it is to import products to your Facebook store. Let's go with this product for example. First things first, copy the product's URL. Then head to the AutoDS platform, click on Add Products, and in this case, we're going with single product. Now paste the URL of the product that you just copied. Next, click on edit now. Now all of the product's details are being added and it'll end up in the draft section of your store. From here, you can optimize the product's title, the automation settings, the product's description, the images, and so forth. Once you're done, click on save. Now the product is in the draft section of our store. Now whether you optimize the product on the drafts page beforehand, doesn't really matter because you can always do it on the Facebook Marketplace. But as long as the product is on the draft section of our store, we can move on to the next step, which is heading back to the Facebook Marketplace. Once there, on the left side, we'll click on Create New Listing, and here in the middle, under Choose Listing Type, we're going to choose Item for Sale. Now you can see a drop-down menu, and here are the products that we have on the draft section of our Facebook stores on AutoDS that haven't been published yet. We're gonna click on Paste Info from AutoDS, and now as you can see, all of the info from AutoDS from the draft section of this product got imported to our Facebook Marketplace listing, where here we can continue optimizing the product listing, including the categories, all of the text, all of the tags, and once we are done with the optimization process, we're gonna click on next and publish once we are done. Now what's happening in the background is this product is now being published on my Facebook Marketplace store. And also on AutoDS simultaneously, it is moving automatically from the draft section to the product section of our store. And now you can see that it is listed on my Facebook store. It is a top listing that you can see right here. And if I go to create new listing and item for sale, and I click on the drop down menu, you don't see that item here anymore because that's not on the draft section of AutoDS. Here you can see it being imported to the product section of our store. It's not in the draft section, and that is because we published that product. Also, you can see the Facebook ID right here, and as soon as you click on it, it takes you to the Facebook ID of that product. That, of course, is a different product, but I also wanted to show you that new feature. And that is how simple it is to download and install the Facebook Marketplace Dropshipping Helper extension and begin enjoying business automation.